The very first footage of Need for Speed 2021 was just shown to us. I am super, super excited to dive into this video with you today. I cannot believe a whole year before we're supposed to see the game at all. This is very clearly a stupidly early version of the game, considering the fact that this is the time when they're only now just shifting from the last game to this game, which we know is not the truth this time because they've definitely been working on the game because we haven't really had any updates for Need for Speed Heat for a while. There was a whole going on of a new studio and stuff, so very clearly right from the beginning, as soon as the new studio was a thing, this is all they've been working on. Now, this is a very short clip. There's not much to it, but I do want to dive in because there are some things I definitely want to pick out to give us an idea of what 2021 is going to look like, which is kind of weirdly a year away from reveal. Less than a year away from reveal now, which is just odd to say. I'm very glad to see the 180SX right next to that GT3. I think one of those vehicles alone would have given the wrong message. We were kind of worried here over in the Need for Speed camp that Criterion retaking the reins is like, you know what? We're doing, we're doing hypercars and nothing but again, no more customers. But that's not the case. They definitely are showing their intent for customization. Some kind of deserty area. I did get a salt flat vibe from it as well. So it could be a kind of salt area, but could this be a glimpse at the map? Now, I'm not so sure. It could just be an area to test the rendering of the lighting and stuff and how it's going to go on this. But to be real, with a map, in a racing game, generally how it's done is the map is made first. So the map is probably done or not, if not mostly done already. So uh, I would say it's pretty safe to say that this area may possibly be in the game. Clearly a brand new lighting system. Need for Speed Heat had some very good lighting. Of course, it, it didn't really come out as it did in the trailers because that's how these consoles work. The consoles of this generation are 10 years old. They're limiting. And of course, this is the, powered on the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. X, which enable things such as ray tracing, which is a new lighting technology, not just the lighting technology, but you can see depth of field improvements. Could we see an improved photo mode because of the whole new generational thing of the new lighting systems? Could ray tracing help bring better depth of field? I sure think so. That could be a, a way that it could be used. You can see in the reflections of the cars as well, the reflections are definitely improved tenfold from what they were. Although Need for Speed's reflections have always been pretty great the reflection of the gt3 in the 180 is just something that you wouldn't have really seen before a new shadow or shading system as well very clearly you can see the shadows and reflections kind of come hand in hand here and make something that looks so realistic and it doesn't even look like they've improved the poly count of the vehicles they may not have even touched the poly count of the vehicles because they really don't need to. With the lighting systems in this, for example, the new Gran Turismo game, you saw that they've probably not even touched the car models because they were already fantastic and they've improved the lighting and it just makes it look so much more real. We're at that limit where improving the quality of the models won't really give much return, opposed to changing the lighting model, which clearly does make a decent return. There's very clearly higher quality textures here. And because of that, we actually get to see a little bit of a cheeky glimpse at something that's possibly a new feature in the game. So this is our first proper feature that we have noticed other than ray tracing stuff like physical customization option is what you want to hear. The Bridgestone tires. You're like, what? I thought Bridgestone tires were... No, we didn't have any branded tires in the game. All we had was the Need for Speed branded tires and you could put the text around them, the white tire text. You couldn't, you couldn't do this in the previous games there were no bridgestone tires so it does look like they have secured new brand now they were close with toyo tires before but they didn't really have actual toyo tires in the game but clearly here we are now with bridgestone being the focus which is inter uh, interesting on the second part of the footage they talk about seamless immersion and with the new consoles this year there will be a seamless immersion which will get you into the race in a matter of seconds what they're basically saying is little to no loading times. Now, what they mean by seamless in my eyes is if you've played Need for Speed Heat, something that happens is super cool is when you go into daytime or nighttime and you switch to the other as this cool animation keeps the car locked on screen. And this was possible on the Xbox One and the PS4 standard consoles. So if this is possible on those consoles, what is the next generation going to bring with its new SSDs and very much more direct access than even on PS4? PC is available right now. That begs the question, will we see the next Need for Speed 
on new gen only. This is a thing that I've been thinking about quite a lot recently. I was even going to make a video talking about is Need for Heat going to come to the PS4, sorry, PS5 and Xbox Series X because I imagine they at least considered the idea of porting it with like a complete edition with all the DLC and stuff, but clearly it's one paid car. So there's no point in doing such a thing now. You can upgrade your games and all that kind of stuff. So with old consoles, get Need for Speed 2021 as well. This is a difficult one because I know the developers of all games would really love to throw the old consoles in the damn bin because they are hit, hitting these walls, hitting these barriers that are just, it's just a struggle. I think 2021 will be on both platforms. I don't think it's going to be like the old Need for Speeds where they had completely different versions. It's going to be the exact same. They're going to do that for at least this game. I think the next game will be the one that's on the new consoles only. So I do imagine in some areas that is going to limit gameplay and features on this game. I think it makes sense to do it this way because obviously not everybody is going to have a PS5. Not everybody is going to have an Xbox Series X in the second year of them being a thing. That's just insane to think about. But the problem with it being on the old consoles is it does limit new features from being used. Like ray tracing is something that could be built into the engine and just tick enabled the things like that but when it comes to seamless transitions say you went into drove it to a race pressed go and then all of a sudden the cars came up behind you without even pausing kind of i guess that was even a thing on the old games but with more cars so you all of a sudden press start the event 50 cars come flying but up behind you that's not going to be possible on the old gen the amount of players online is going to be improved on the new gen these are some things that they can tweak around and play with but things like map size is where the issues begin because if we do a massive scale map it's not really going to work properly on the old platform so you hit the limit with the past couple of racing games in in terms of visual fidelity and the like it's a shame but we do get a step which means there is an even bigger step coming with the next game but i could be wrong it is a year into the generation it will be a year into the generation so we could possibly see that they decide to just not do it with some games need for speed may be that game i'm not sure though because it sells like bloody hotcakes yes i expect crossplay to be a big feature which is brilliant which makes me hope that crews and stuff are going to be formed really really well like cross-platform crews crew v crew pvp Everything mashed into this game needs to be done, including the fact that crossplay is going to be a thing. Because if, come on, if you hadn't realized, crossplay, big, big thing, huge. It was the first EA game to have crossplay, and the next game to have it is going to be launching uh, its uh, update for, I can't even remember what they call their Fortnite, what's it called? Their Battle Royale game is going to be getting it at the end of the year, which is pretty far away. Now, of course, player count is something I just mentioned, but we're talking crazy amounts of players. We're talking about Battlefield and how the player count is gonna be mad. Well, Need for Speed's gonna get that bump as well. If you haven't realized that we've been on eight players since the very beginning of the generation for Need for Speed, and we haven't upped on that, which is very odd if you think about it, because we came from obviously the PS3 having eight players to sticking with eight players. There's some, some kind of limit there. And hopefully now with the memory, improved load times, the improved networking nowadays, and quite frankly, the improved loading of those vehicles because of the SSD, it would make sense that we get more players on screen at once. Don't you think? I think so. During the clip, she says, Criterion is known for how their games feel, from superior physics to nuanced details of gameplay. Now, I'm hoping that they're talking about Star Wars because this is a whole new studio. There's only a, probably a handful of people here that actually worked on Burnout or Hot Pursuit. So I'm trying to keep my chill with that. I'm trying to keep my chill, okay? Okay, let's hope. But I do think Need for Speed does need some new physics i think this is the perfect time to do an overhaul if not a major adjustment of the physics of need for speed because it does it doesn't play ball sometimes they've improved it hugely throughout this generation this is like the last two generations they've improved were, uh, were the, the best handling we've had in a while but it still needs some work and i know that action driving is still going to be the, the focus but the crew is handling in my opinion at least at this current stage in terms of it, now it's updates and stuff is better and just needs to have a bit more play in it like the need for speed handling but that is likely all we will hear until ea play next year 2021 now it's it's gonna be a 
I say it's gonna be a while, but if you honestly think about it, this is only a year away before we hear about the next Need for Speed game. It's only a year. Of course, it comes out November usually towards, so November 2021 is when I'm expecting the game to come out. If it doesn't come out then, I will cry because that means they're taking an extra year, which means there's a long time without no Need for Speed because they stop the updates pretty quickly on this week heat, in case you didn't know that. They should be in a rock. It's glad to know that they're making an effort to show us that they they are working on something and they're showing us and they I appreciate the fact that they told us that it was the final update for Need for Speed Heat. They didn't just go, oh, you know, uh, th this is an update and uh, look out for more. They didn't say that. They genuinely said, this is it. Look, we need to start working on the next game. That's how it is. I do wish there was a, added a hot L of a lot more. There should have been speedless and, you know, and <laughs> crossplay, but they didn't do that. But at least they told us, look, we're calling it here. We're working on the next game. And they've even shown us the next game already of course not really really anything to go off of other than it is two cars being spun around pretty graphics new tires and they're two cars that are already in the other game so they're not giving away major major stuff but they're showing us that their intent is customization is still a thing and it will be a thing if they change their mind on this i will be very angry i only live an hour away criterion and poo can be thrown <laughs> I can't say that. But there you go. What do you think of this? Do you think it looks beautiful? Do you think it looks the same? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Are you? I was kind of annoyed. I literally sat through 45 minutes of that conference for that clip. For that clip. That's all we got. Very annoyed, to be completely honest with you. But I am okay. I'm okay with it. <laughs> we got something. That means it was worth it. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. My friends, as I said, leave your thoughts and the like down below. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.